was a happy ending for a family down in Van Buren County this week after a sheriff's office canine helped track down a missing toddler. This is not the only child that the pup has helped save. You say, so Megan Bunchman in studio now with more on this story. Megan. Brian Sue, good evening. Multiple departments responded to the call of a missing three year old yesterday afternoon. And while some new technology was used, like drones, canine Kuno may have upstaged them all. God willing, we had a good positive ending on this one. A happy ending after a terrifying call yesterday to Van Buren County Dispatch. And the little child actually pushed a screen out and crawled out through the window and did what kids do, just took off. A three-year-old boy wandered off into the woods near his home on 68th Street, south of Baseline Road, around 4 o'clock Monday, wearing nothing but a diaper. So we knew not only was the streams there, these ponds and that bigger lake was there. And that was our biggest fear right from the get-go. It was just gut-wrenching. Which is why Sheriff Daniel Abbott says multiple departments quickly responded to the call, including drones from South Haven Area Emergency Services Authority and Kuno, a Sheriff's Department canine who has a knack for tracking down missing kids. A particular canine actually has already found four children uh, with the same type scenario. So dispatch reached out to that canine officer and he come in route immediately. While the drones took to the sky for an aerial view, officers searched on foot near streams and ponds for less than an hour when Kuno found the small footprint in the mud. Shortly after, drones were redirected to that specific area and almost simultaneously. Uh, Shays did advise that they just spotted what they believed was going to be the missing three-year-old. About the same time, our canine officer got on the radio, advised that he heard the, a child crying, and then immediately got on says, we've got the child recovered safely. Abbott says the toddler suffered minor scrapes, while Kuno added another rescue to his resume and perhaps some extra pets from his handler this week. Where they recovered this little child, you're talking two, three minutes later, we may have had a different result. A Michigan State Police K-9, South Haven Police, and Great Lakes drones also assisted in the rescue. And though Kuno helped save multiple lives, some people might say he has multiple lives himself as well. He actually survived an attack, a stabbing about two years ago down in Goebbels when he was assisting deputies with a domestic abuse call.